हॅलो एरिवान आय प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर बी व्ही जाधव प्रोफेसर अँड हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री चामकाना ठाकूर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स अँड सायन्स कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल ॲटॉनॉमस टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू टॉक ऑन द टॉपिक सॉलिस्टेड केमिस्ट्री आय विल गो थ्रू दिस कंटेंट इंट्रोडक्शन टाईप्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ टर्म्स क्लोजेस्ट पॅकिंग ऑफ रिजिड स्पियर्स इफिशियन्सी ऑफ पॅकिंग अँड पॅकिंग डेन्सिटी इन लडायसिस सॉलिस्टेड केमिस्ट्री is the study of synthesis composition structure and properties of solid materials solid state chemistry is also sometimes referred as a material chemistry a solid is defined as a state of matter with a definite shape and value in solid constant particles are held closely by strong intermolecular forces there are two types of solids on the base, uh, based on the atomic arrangement binding energy physical and chemical properties the crystalline solids and amorphous solids the crystalline solids <coughs> in which the binding constituents arrange themselves in a regular manner throughout the entire three dimensional network the crystalline lattice is a solid figure which has a definite geometrical shape with flat faces and sharp edges crystalline solids have a definite sharp melting points this shows anisotropy there is a definite geometry and the crystalline solids give x-ray diffraction bands and the examples of crystalline solids are nacl and cscl the second type of solid is the amorphous solids in amorphous solids there is no arrangement of atoms or the molecules no regular arrangement of atoms or molecules crystalline solids also considered as a non crystalline solids or a super cool solids The crystalline solids have no sharp melting point. They shows isotropic and they do not have a definite geometrical shape, do not have x-ray diffraction bands and the examples are glass, rubber and plastic. Uh, the types of crystals, there are four types of crystals, ionic crystals, covalent crystals, molecular crystals and metallic crystals. The first type is the ionic crystals in ionic crystals the lattice points are occupied by the positive and negative ions the lattice crystals are uh, sorry, ionic crystals are the hard and brittle solids they have a high melting points due to very strong electrostatic force of attraction the ionic crystals are a poor conductor of electricity in solid state but these are good conductors in molten state the packing spheres depends upon the presence of charged species which are present in it and difference in the size of the anions and cations so there are two types of ionic crystals that ab type and ab2 type ab2 type of crystals the second type is the covalent crystals in covalent crystals the lattice points are occupied by the neutral atoms and these atoms are held together by a covalent bonds the covalent crystals are hard solids they have a high melting points they are a poor conductor of electricity and the most common examples are the diamond and graphite the third type of the crystals are the molecular crystals in which the lattice points are occupied by the neutral molecules and the molecules are held together by van der waals forces so these crystals are very soft solids and they have a low melt- melting point and they are a poor conductor of electricity and the fourth type of crystals are the metallic crystals in which the lattice points are occupied by the positive metal ions surrounded by a sea of mobile electrons and these metallic crystals are soft to a very hard these metallic crystals have the high tensile strength these are a good conductor of electricity they are malleable and ductile and the bonding electrons in metals remains delocalized over the entire crystal and these metallic crystals have a very high density then uh, some important terms which are involved in the uh, solid state chemistry that i am going to uh, discuss the first term is the crystal lattice or space lattice as you know the lattice means a crystal lattice means a network and this crystal lattice is an orderly arrangement of the repeating units the three dimensional arrangement of the packing constitutes a crystal and represented by the points is called as a crystal lattice or a space lattice so this space lattice is an array of points 
so it is shown in the figure then second term is the lattice points the points at which the particles are arranged are called as the lattice points or the positions occupied by the uh, positions occupied by the particles in a crystal lattice these are called as lattice points then third term is the unit cell unit cell is the smallest geometrical portion of the crystal which can be used to build up a whole crystal or it is the smallest repeating unit of a space lattice then the fourth term is the lattice constants the lattice is made up of regular uh, repeat, uh, repetitious uh, units uh, unit cells and the unit cell can be completely described by the uh, three vectors that is a b and c which gives the length of edges of a unit cell and the angles between them are alpha beta and gamma so these lattice vectors a b c and the interfacial angles alpha beta and gamma collectively are known as a unit cell parameters or lattice constants then the closest packing of these spheres how uh, the spheres are how the atoms are closely packed in the crystal lattice so this closest packing is the way of arranging the equidimensional spheres in a space so that the available space is filled up more effectively and efficiently a bunch of grapes a honeycomb a rough top soap bubbles soap bubbles or a pile of orange oranges are the various examples of close packing arrangements in two dimensions there are two ways in which the spheres can be arranged in a close packing as shown in the figure a and b in figure a each sphere is in contact with is in contact with four neighbors while in figure b each sphere is in contact with six other spheres so by arrangement shown in the figure a the percentage of space filled by the spheres is a 52.4 while in the figure b it is 60.5 it is a 60.5 and it is a more efficient thus in two dimensions in a closest packing each sphere is in contact with six other spheres in three dimensions there are three different ways in which the hard spheres can be arranged the first one is hexagonal close packing second is cubic close packing and third one is body centered cubic close packing so the spheres are arranged in such a way that a sphere is in each sphere is in a contact with a maximum number of similar spheres so the closest packing can be explained by stacking the layers of spheres one over the other so the when the first layer of the sphere is a two dimensional the stacking of the second layer is possible only on the hollows of the uh, first layer and the third layer of the spheres that can be stacked either over the first layer of the spheres and the structure is repeated after the two layers that is ab ab repetition so this type of arrangement is called as a hexagonal close packing that is hcp or the third layer of the sphere can be arranged over the unfilled hollows of the first layer and the structure is repeated after uh, three layers that is abc abc repetition so this type of arrangement is called as a cubic close packing and results in a face centered cubic close packing that is fcc so this is the uh, hexagonal close packing the first layer see the first layer is a a layer then the spheres of the second layer are stacked over the gaps which are created by the first layer again when when we are going to arrange the spheres of the third layer that will be exactly over the spheres of the first layer so ab ab repetition is there in this structure so <coughs> uh, uh, this gives us a hexagonal close packing that is hcp then in cubic close packing see uh, the spheres are arranged in the first layer Yeah, and uh, when we stack the spheres of the second layer on the spheres of the first layer this goes into the voids which are created by the first layer and when we uh, arrange the spheres of the third layer again the third layer that is c layer is a different uh, and the spheres of the third layer occupies the unfilled hollows of the first layer so there are three different layers that is a b c and again 
if we are going to arrange the spheres of the fourth layer that will be exactly same as that of the first layer so that's why there is a abc abc repetition and this gives us a cubic close packing arrangement of the rigid spheres then third type of the closest packing is the body centered cubic close packing in which the spheres of the first layer are arranged in such a way that the there is a opening between the spheres the spheres are not immediately in contact with each other there is some gap and these spheres are marked by a if you want to arrange the spheres of the second layer marked b the spheres of the second layer will immediately in contact with the four spheres of the first layer and if you want to arrange the spheres of the third layer over the spheres of the second layer that again these spheres are marked a and these are placed uh, exactly over the spheres of the first layer so each sphere of the second layer marked b is immediately in contact with the four spheres of the first layer and four spheres of the second layer so this type of arrangement is called as a body centered cubic close arrangement in which at the uh, body centered of this bcc there is a one a sphere then the next point is the efficiency of packing this efficiency of packing is expressed in terms of the atomic packing factor or a packing density this atomic packing factor is defined as the fraction of space occupied by a fraction of space occupied by the atoms in a unit cell that is the atomic packing factor is equal to volume occupied by the atoms in a unit cell upon volume of a unit cell that is small v upon capital v and to find out the atomic packing factor or packing density in a various lattices one should know the values of different factors that is lattice constant small a nearest neighbor distance 2r number of atoms per unit cell small n then volume of atoms per unit cell that is small n into small v and volume of a unit cell so uh, the atomic packing factor in a simple cubic structure uh, as you know in simple cubic structure the spheres are placed at the eight corners of the cube and <coughs> the contribution of each sphere in a, a single unit cell in a single simple cubic cell is a 1/8 so the coordination number in case of a simple cubic structure is a 6 and the number of atoms per unit cell of the simple cubic cell is a 1 because the 1/8 into 8 that is equal to 1 and the relation between the edge length small a and atomic radius r is equal to uh, r is a is equal to 2r and when we put the values of small v and capital v in the equation of atomic packing factor that we will get the atomic packing factor for a simple structure is a 0.52 or 52% means the 52% space is occupied in the simple cubic structure then atomic packing factor in the body centered cubic structure in body centered cubic structure the spheres are eight spheres are placed at the eight corners and one sphere is at the center of the bcc so the coordination number is 8 and the total number of atoms per unit cell of bcc are 2 because the contribution of corner atom is 1/8 into 8 plus one sphere is at the center so 1 plus 1 that is 2 and the relation between the edge length a and that of atomic radius is a is equal to 4r by root 3 and atomic packing factor is 0.68 or 68 percent then in case of face centered cubic uh, atomic packing factor in face centered cubic lattice the coordination number is 12 the number of atoms per fcc are 4 and the atomic packing factor for the fcc structure is 0.74 or 74 percent and in hexagonal close packing the atomic packing factor is 0.74 or 74% thank you